Mami, we are so happy to visit you today. We have seen the work you are doing. So maybe we work together so that I can see where I can advise you. For example, I can see you have this sawdust that you have put on the floor. It's not bad, but if you put a small amount like you have put, it gets soiled very fast. And when it gets soiled very fast, you'll find that the chicken gets this disease called CRD. It's mostly coughing. When the bedding gets soiled very fast, it produces ammonia gas. Because of the high number of birds, when they produce heat, it also generates ammonia gas from the litter. And that's when now you can see it rising up. That's when you see the chicken gasping. They produce something like um, as though they're, they're coughing. Or you see the chicken developing something called throttle. They produce a sound in the throat as though somebody who is snoring. So if you can try and increase this bedding or root shaving more than 5 centimeters, it will be good. And if you increase to that 5 centimeters, it even helps you, you don't keep changing all the time. It stays a little bit for long. Do you get me? The other thing I've seen, your laying boxes, for example, this laying box that I'm seeing, it seems as though something hit it and then it fell inside. So when the bird enters inside, it, it doesn't have that comfort. So in that state of entering and leaving the laying box, you might find that the bird cracks the eggs. So I would love you to raise these laying boxes all together and put or fix an empty journey bag at the door so that it acts like a curtain so that the birds get some darkness. When you'll be coming to collect eggs here next time, you'll not find eggs spread all over. This is because the chicken love laying in dark areas, or rather of a position, mostly loves taking place in dark areas. So you'll get a profit because many eggs will not crack or break. Sometimes when you walk here while feeding, you step or crack the eggs by bad luck. And when the bird sees an egg that is cracked, it starts eating it. So the bird discovers that an egg can also be eaten, and then it starts doing egg eating. And when the bird starts egg eating, it becomes a very big challenge to the farmer. I know you as a farmer, when an, one egg gets broken in a day, you get a loss. So don't get tired. Introduce the curtains to prevent much light from entering the laying boxes. I saw you had made them and it's like they came out. So please keep preparing them so that they can lay from inside. On the side of water, I can see you fix the drink as well and they're doing well. Although, don't fix the drinkers too high like this one. Always measure and ensure that you fix the drinker in line with the bird's back line. For example, okay, and that is now all right. When the drinkers are too low, the birds have much spillage. And when the drinkers are too high, the birds as well have much spillage. But when the drinkers are at bar with the back line of the bird, the birds drink the water comfortably or rather they enjoy drinking the water with minimal spillage. Do you get me? The other thing, your chicken are layers and chicken are birds. Birds love patching. A bird wants to patch on a higher object. So for your house, you can just take a wire or a small timber and you tie or fix on these trusses like you tie here and here and on the other truss. The birds will be resting there. These ones are called rooters. After you fed the chicken mostly in the morning or in the evening 
the birds will rest there and they get fun. Most of the times they say it gives the bird much comfort. So when the bird gets much comfort, the bird gives you much eggs. So you also get much profit. The thing I've noted and you ought to put much consideration is called biosecurity. To prevent your farm mostly from diseases that come from outside. Okay? When you came into your farm, we didn't see a foot bath. So when you come into your farm, please try and dig a hole at the entry and then make some concrete so that people can dip their foot when they enter the farm. And you put or mix the disinfectant and water. Your car, when it comes to the farm, it gets disinfected there and kills all bacteria that are disease causative agents. Because your, chick, your, your vehicle can bring diseases to the farm. When it goes to the aggravate to purchase feed, it, it gets other vehicles from other farms that may have stepped there at the parking. They will have the diseases packed there. Your vehicle will also pick those diseases and bring them to the farm. So it's important that they get disinfected at the gate so that you don't have the diseases coming to your farm. We as Africhik are going to buy you a pair of gambut so that every time you wear them you always remember biosecurity. Buy all your stuff, gambuts and other protective gear so that every time they come to the farm they are wearing the protective gear. And at the entry you should also make a foot bath whereby people will sanitize their legs and also buy sanitizer and put there so that people can sanitize their hands. These are not only brought in the farm by foot they are also brought by hands because every time you use your hands for touching and you touch objects more often and that is the only way you're going to prevent diseases coming to your farm from outside and i'm happy i've seen your chicken are all healthy they don't have cannibalism and you have tried and i thank god for the five years you've been rearing chicken it seems that is where you've got the experience there's something I want to teach you and I want to talk about on the size of feeding the chicken. These birds, when they get to week 20, don't just expect that they'll be laying more eggs at a go. A bird lays while increasing the production and it gets to week 22 to week 32, that is when it lays more eggs. So be keeping records and monitor the age of your birds so that when the time your birds get to week 36, you feed them well and you avoid stress and you give them enough feed and multivitamin so that they have good health and they lay more eggs because this is the time the chicken will have to produce a high and peak production. At this stage, the bird is supposed to lay between 94 and 96%. That is where their profit as a farmer lays. If you joke and the bird lays low production, by the time the bird gets to week 52, it starts declining the egg production.